Hello, and welcome to my very special Pride edition of Mona Mix. I'm your girl, Mona Moore, and today I'm going to teach you how to make the most amazing Rainbow Pride Cupcakes. Tis the season, love is love is love is love, and baking comes in all shapes, sizes, colors, and tastes. So uh, let's get baked with Mona Mix. Amazing! I know that lots of people out there are nervous when it comes to baking from scratch. I get it. Science isn't easy. I'm not a scientist. But baking from scratch always tastes better. But don't worry, I got you covered. Today I'm going to teach you how to turn your cake mix into an amazing cake batter that tastes exactly like making it from scratch. The ingredients are one box of cake mix, one cup of all-purpose flour, one cup of granulated sugar, half a teaspoon of salt, three large eggs, a cup and three quarters of water, two tablespoons of vegetable oil, one cup of sour cream, and two teaspoons of vanilla. I know, sour cream, it sounds weird, but let me tell you, that is the secret to making your cake mix taste exactly from scratch. Now before you begin, you want to preheat your oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit. Then you want to mix all your dry ingredients. So I'm going to take my cake mix, my one cup of all-purpose flour, my one cup of granulated sugar, and a tablespoon of salt. There we go. And then we're going to add it to our KitchenAid and give it a little mix. Little mix! Now that all my dry ingredients are mixed thoroughly together, let's get wet. Serving Tuna Turner. I'm going to add my three eggs, my one and one third cup of water, my two tablespoons of oil, my two teaspoons of vanilla extract, and last but not least, my one cup of sour cream. This is the very special ingredient. Trust, it will change your life. Now, let's give this a mix and watch our batter come to life. <laughs> and avoid being eaten alive. So once the batter was completely mixed, I divided it into six separate bowls. I then used some food coloring to dye each bowl a color of the rainbow. I then transferred the batter into plastic bags for piping. I'm going to start with my purple and pipe a thin layer on each cupcake mold and slowly work my way to red. You want to cut a very little slip. Perfect. And let's get piping. I give a little tap to flatten it out and move on to my next color. You can use real piping bags, but I find it much easier just with a Ziploc bag. Perfect. Now I got all six colors of the rainbow in my tin, and it's time for baking. So let's get baked! Now that the cupcakes are baking in the oven, I'm going to teach you how to make a delicious, light and fluffy vanilla frosting. From scratch, I know, don't worry, it's gonna be easy peasy lemon squeezy. And all it takes is a half a cup of unsalted butter softened, a teaspoon and a half of vanilla extract, two cups of confectioner sugar sifted, and two tablespoons of milk. Now let's make this frosting because I'm craving something sweet. So you wanna start off by beating your butter until it is smooth and fluffy. It's really important that the butter is at room temperature, then it allows the butter to get light and fluffy for the frosting. Once the butter is nice and smooth, you want to slowly add in your sugar. It takes two cups of the sugar, so I'm going to add in a half a cup at a time. That looks delicious and already smells amazing. Next, I'm going to add my teaspoon and a half of vanilla extract to the frosting. This vanilla extract is just gonna add 
a little bit more of that vanilla flavor. Once that is thoroughly mixed, then you want to add your two tablespoons of milk. Perfect. And you want to give it a mix for about three to four minutes until it's ready to go. If you find that it's too wet or too loose, you can always add some more icing sugar. I cannot wait to see what this turns out like. I'm so excited. Perfect. The final cupcake is iced. Now, once they were out of the oven, it was very important that I let them cool down. We do not want the icing to run or melt on the cupcake. They look super cute, and I can't wait to cut them open and see what the inside look like. But first, we need a little bit of sprinkles. Oh, they always make me feel super festive and full of pride. I love these. These are adorable. Now all they need is a little pride flag on top, and they are ready for the most festive and fabulous pride party. Thank you so much for tuning in to this very special pride edition of Mona Mix. I hope you enjoyed my rainbow pride flag cupcakes. Try them yourself because they are extremely delicious. Everyone have a safe and happy pride. Take care and sending you all my love. Bye.